Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got an idea for capturing QSOs with MMTTY and sending them over to Log for the Old Man. But first, a word from our sponsor. Say goodbye to the hassle of QSL cards. As a ham radio operator, you know how important it is to stay connected with other operators and send out QSL cards. Don't waste your time designing and printing cards yourself, let QSL Works help. With our fast, cost-effective service, you'll be able to send out customized cards that reflect your unique style. Stop struggling and let us take care of all your card printing needs so that you can stay connected with ease. Check the link in the description below. Okay, well I, I like MMTTY and I usually use it with N1MM Logger. But Log for the Old Man is my favorite log, and that's the one I use just you know, generally every day. So I wanted to find a way to get my QSOs from MMTTY over to Log for the Old Man, and I think I got a way to do it. It's not too terribly difficult. It only requires one extra step. And I've been calling CQ and haven't had any luck. I'm using 100 watts with my ICOM 7300. This is Ready FSK, and my antenna is the HiQ 580 mobile antenna on the back of my camper. And 80 meters is not really a, a good place for me to try this. I tried on 20 earlier today with no luck. It might take a Ready contest for me to make a few consecutive QSOs. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put in a call sign uh, T3ST and I'll uh, put in Bob for the name and then log this and it's not going to go any anywhere it's not going to go to my online logs but I'll just show you how I do it so after I make a QSO I hit QSO and then I click it again and it logs it to MMTTY's logger. So I entered the call. Let's go in and look at view and then the log data list. And this is the uh, log data for MMTTY. And here's the QSO that I just put in. What I'm going to do is select it and go to file and then export selected to an ADIF file. And this is going into the MMTTY folder. Uh, I've got K0PIR and it's an ADI file. So I'm going to click save and there it goes. It wrote it to it. So if I had multiple calls in here, I could just select the multiple calls. I could go by date that I know aren't in my logbook and then export it. So that's the extra step. And then uh, once I do that, uh, I can go into log for the old man and there it is it shows up and let me show you how i've got it set up in here i'm going to go to settings program configuration and i'm going to do this just like i did with js8 call and with fl digi i'm going to go down to the uh, adif functions and this is the line that i entered in there and it's going to delete the the file each time that it pulls in the data it goes ahead and deletes it now um you might want to uh, have it save that file so uh, uh, i chose this option delete the adif file after the load uh, i may go back in there and uh, enter it again and uh, don't check that so to do this you're up at adif monitor and then go to the folder and your file would be in there that k0pi file k0pir file would normally be in there uh, select it and then click open and uh, i could choose to uh, delete the adif file after each load or uh, save it preserve the file and then uh, whichever you choose then hit the plus sign over here and it'll put it down in this window. So see I've got it working with uh, FL Digi and I've got it working with 
uh, JS8 call and I don't have it deleting those two so I think what I'll do is uh, change that later but that's how I have it set up uh, click save and apply and uh, that's the way it, it gets into log for the old man so if you have any questions please comment below and if you have any other ideas uh, I'm always open to ideas thanks for watching please remember to like subscribe and share 73 and good DX.